Hey guys, and welcome back to Pestle Level 25, and today we are doing XV. So this guy can be found in the Celestial Tournament, you're going to have to pay free tokens for him. So he has an HP of 1,400, an attack of 333, and a speed of 252. He is a beast type, of course. His first attack is the Spear Claws. Now the Spear Claws will hit on an average about 500, and it does have one big drawback. It only has an 80% hit chance, which is kind of sucky because it does miss quite often. But if you put that against the weather effect of the Moonlight ability, he will have a 100% hit chance, which is pretty damn awesome. So this is one super attack that you want to be comboing with the Moonlight weather effect. Now, whether that be with the pet itself or with another pet, that is always good. So next is the feed ability. Now, the feed ability has a 90% hit chance, which is pretty good. But I have seen it miss in really fucking tough situations. Now this attack will hit hard and it will also heal you for as much as you're doing damage. Which is pretty damn awesome. Even if you hit for 16 as in there. It will still give you the full heal. Which is pretty damn sweet. So the next attack is the vengeance attack. Now the vengeance attack is not good if you're going up against the person that is going to be using dots. As you can see here I got hit for 80 with the dot and then I do 80 damage. What kind of pet does 80 damage? A shit pet. So if you combine that with say the burrow attack or even an ion cannon or something, you will be talking about loads of damage. But this next attack is the bite attack. It is your bog standard attack. It will have 100% hit chance and will hit for about 300. And then it has a nice big crit too. So the next attack we have is the moonfire ability, which will give you the moonlight weather effect, which is pretty awesome. So it does between 450 damage and 500 damage and will crit for quite a bit now this attack combined with the prowl ability will hit for over 1000 which is always nice so the next attack we're talking about is the prowl ability of course so the prowl ability will increase your damage for the next two well for the next attack for two turns for 150 percent but it will slow you down by 30 percent which is pretty bad but it does do a hell of a lot of damage when it hits so it's all good. So here is a quick pet battle of my favorite selection. So I went with the Prowl ability, the Moonlight Weather effect, and also the Spear Claws. Because Spear Claws, 100% hit chance and does 500 damage a pop. Oh yes, you better believe I want this. So let's get into it. We're taking t on two rare pets at level 25, so that's not good. But there's a little common one that should be easy enough. But the big drawback about this pet, of course, he is bad against flying types. And of course, he would have the Kunsun Strike as soon as I'm about to use my Moonfire attack. So he blocks my strongest attack, and I have to whimper and hit him with my Spear Claws to do pretty much no damage because he is he's strong against our old beast attacks. And as you can see there, with the Pride ability, he was only doing, what, 900 damage? That's not much damage at all. So let's fight this guy. And of course he would use the Cleansing Rain ability. What a scrub. So we will get our Moonfire on a go again. And we should be able to do quite a bit of damage here. And boom. But per x he dies. So that's not good. If you want a bit more survivability, I would always say pick the Feet Attack. But you're going to have to combine this pet with someone. Say the Moon can hatch the there that has the Moonfire Weather Effect. Or the Moonfire Attack. Which will give the Moonlight Weather Effect. So... Thanks for watching guys, I've been the Bulu and I will see you all later.